against that open triumph in Texas in the spring. Nota Begay with his second to last group with Spieth and Dylan Fratelli. Spieth trying to get this one to peel off that left side. Depending on the bounce, should be okay. Forward bounds, you mentioned that the front of the screen does slope away from them. Nobody's Rangers coming maybe a little in from the left, guys. Marcel Seam has really hit it close here. Yeah, there, it's just too far left. That's about what you'd expect. Just six birdies at the first. Just loves and speed. You know, we've seen a variety of clubs off this tee. Irons now driver for Jordan. You can run out of room on the right with the driver. He's lost it right. Have to get lucky in there. Holes hugging that left hand side, so. Wind is in, but there's not much going on here at Royal St. George's at the moment. Kick right somehow. Luis. Oh, oh man, that's a beauty. How about that? Is this illustrate speed's natural feel for Lynx golf? Incredible. Or what? Yep. Little contours. Royal St. George's to set this up. Beautifully done. And Speed's first birdie of the day comes at the second. Oh, he just drilled that, didn't he? On the tee, and Nota is down there with this group. Yeah, David, we heard them talking about the boys going to see the entire track today. Tipped out today. One foot in the rough is playing 245, so a big ask. Oh, tee oh, done very yeah. low, almost on the deck. Trying to hit a little peel there, a little too much peel. See about the bounce. Yeah, there we go. Use those slopes if you can. Paint your masterpiece, Jordan, right? That's right. Well, you know, Jordan, I think he... This for birdie. Definitely want to get all the way there. Jordan cleaning this one up. Right in the middle. A good start for Spieth. 4 yard par four, a blind tee shot. Players cannot see the fairway. And we'll check it out with our top tracer technology. Looking for a carry of about 275, Gary, to take that mounding up the right out of play. Yeah, looks like he's done a beautiful job with that uh, right off the left edge of that uh, Himalaya bunker that they call. And that is looking solid in all aspects of the game as we go to four. And that is Spieth birdie putt on the way, and Jordan Spieth has birdied the long par four. This is, this is the second time he's birdied it this week. Keeps the ball down. Moving back out toward the coast. Second toughest hole this week. This is going to kick right. See if it stays in the fairway. And yes. just to illustrate how different it is. Totally blind second shot here. Just picked a spot. To fly it over that hill. Looks like the tallest piece of grass. Looks like he likes the strike. Boy. That was ripped. Yep. Lengthy birdie trot. Remember how he was long on this hole. And then it was not a very good birdie attempt. So Speed gives one back after two birdies in the previous three holes. Well, that's just showed you how hard five is. He hit a, a wonderful tee shot second. You gotta really have the perfect yardage, perfect club to get this thing tight, which is why uh, it's one of the protections that these green designs sort of provide for the venue. Hit this one dead straight. Right at it, Noda. And speed coming off his first. Very straightforward putt here, just not any break at all. Well, so much for the bogey at the fifth. Jordan Speed with another. And, uh, when we were here in 2011. Off a couple of and long, long right birdies. 
Jordan's done a great job of keeping the ball in the play this week. Nothing wrong with that. It's just in such control, Zing. Just yeah, it's nice to see. I mean, you know, you used to hit shots that make you hold your breath. <laughs> now he's going to take our breath here at seven. Uh oh. Whoops. Well, well, no, he didn't hit that like he wanted, but sure did get a great result. Like he was taking a big banana slice. Would give him the outright lead at 12 under. He almost took it and almost passed Hustason. What a touch. He's he tied Louie now. Yep, and he got away with one there, Dan. He didn't hit his second shot anywhere near like he wanted, but it ended up on the green. Yeah, he's aimed down the left side, so look for this to come left to right. One iron. What up? Not the left part, but the knife. No left to right. And that one finds the heavy stuff. Ah. At number eight, so, uh, uh, and, and aiming uh, to the right a touch, trying to run something up there. Oh, and it took a big bounce out of that. That could have been a soft one in there. Got away with a little. Joey, and he's one clear of Spieth, who's over at the eighth. And he clips this off the top, looking for a little check and run. And beautifully done. Lays it up there. Yep. Okay, so well done for this penultimate group. Along with Graham McDowell. Speeth is on the ninth. And this was just earlier, Dan. He shot that appears to be a little too far right. Begging for it to stay in the light stuff. Keep it online is the key. Go! I'm gonna try and get this to tremble up on the green. Uh, this is a good effort here. Yeah, that Very is nice. Really well done. Uh, catch that slope and just funnel away. But to get that ball onto the green hole high from there, all feel. And he says, a lot of times I play these shots, I shorten my swing, hit punch shots, and. That would be certainly what you would call that, Paul. Yep. Just hit right down on it and hold the face. He never let that toe turn over, which mm. is the key. Just going to be a little flip wedge in there for him. All right, up at the green. Spieth for birdie. That's how steep the slope is, Paul. Even Jordan yeah. Spieth left one short. We haven't seen that much this week. Not out of him. His speed's been incredible. This week. And we'll use our top tracer technology again. Well, the world feed going to a different camera there. Pretty cool shot of that ball right there. Thought we we're going to top trace it, but we were up high, and you saw exactly where it lands. For holes plays a little bit easier than the front side, so we'll see if these guys can make a move. As we look at Jordan's swing here, he's made some significant changes. He was stuck under it all those uh, years when he was struggling. You see that position at the top? That is absolutely beautiful, that glove hand. But he feels like he's coming over it. And his thoughts this week, as Gary Koch shared, turn and burn, baby. Turn to the right and then burn through it. And that is a great thought. It takes all the words out between that pole and the flag sticks ideal. Miss on a smart line, just right of the hole. Yeah, that's perfectly played right there. That's how you do it. You don't have to shoot at every flat. And he got yeah. it there. Perfect speed walks it in and Jordan Spieth with his fifth birdie of the day I hope that it climbs up onto that back level. It's tough to get it on that back level 23 bogeys at 11 and only three birdies So this is a nightmare hole. 
Come on, miss that bunker. He's going to have a stance. The ball be below. First greenside bunker attempt this week for Speed. Well, that makes it harder then. Bunker all week, and then all of a sudden, there you are. You got a big lip in your face, and uh, 11. Ran out of gas. He had it. And so, just like that, Speed takes tees and look for their second claret jugs over at the 12th. And Speed on the tee. 30 is the easiest hole today, and that's not a good start to it. Very heavy rough. It's a short hole, just 392. Okay, he's trying to keep it out of the bunkers. Short of the green, so playing well left. Trying to just catch a piece. It's got to slow down, though. Yeah. Very hard to keep control of it coming out of that stuff. That'll be a tricky chip. He has missed two of the last greens in regulation. So battling back in here at the 12th. Easy. Ooh. Well, a little help from the hole there. Uh, par. Incredible. Wow. You know, he catches the hole with that uh, frisky looking chip shot. What? This was the drive for Jordan Spieth. Yeah. Some bunkers to avoid on this hole, but no problem for in front of it. Got to keep it out of there. There's been a bunch of birdies here, though, today, so this is the spot they make it from right in the fairway. It's right at it. Oh, man, did that miss by an inch? And now he. Asking it to put it on the left edge. Be a different mindset going to 14. If he can make it. Yep, two in a row for speed. Tremendous par saves. Especially the one at the previous hole. That was tough with team. And he's decided to go with his driving iron. Playing the same shot, Gary, that he tried to hit at the eighth. This one is trying to work back. And that will be just fine. First cut of rough, but no problem. Out of the fairway, so look to play to the right, far right section of this green. Maybe get get it to run up on there if you can. And the line appears to be good. And it's gonna yeah, that's a up. nice play. Yeah. A good positional play. Come up just short. Options here for him. Lofted club, going with the putter, which I think is a very smart and conservative play for him. Steeply uphill there, though. Got to hit it. Green at 14. Speed for birdie. This one will go right. Didn't hit it. No. Well, opportunity missed there. It was in good shape. Yep, you can tell. Frustrated into the right hip. Didn't do it there. We go to 15. On the most difficult hole. Each round, Speed winds it up. It looks like a good one. Sit down. Softly. Soft. Right. And as long as it stays out of that pot bunker. He got what he wanted there. There's that landed very soft. That would have been leaps in your head there at the last second that that out of bounds is right. You got a smother hook. 15. Speeth working on that move. Hardest hole in the course. Only two birdies today. Field is hitting the green in regulation less than a third of the time, but Speed handles it nicely. From 211 yards out. Averaging a near half stroke over par today. And here is the 16th. And you can see where this hole is cut. It's close to this bunker on the back left. And slopes away. Peels across the face, not enough. The 14. Ustazen's fourth shot now. Coming out of this little low area, so 
uphill at the start, but then downhill once it gets onto the green. All right, well judged. But a disappointing par. Yeah, for both Spieth and Oosthuizen, Gary. Mm -hmm. That makes uh, Morikawa in the catbird seat. Mm -hmm. Over at the 16th, Dustin Johnson for birdie. Now a beautiful tee shot in here, the 165-yard par three. Yeah! And a late birdie for the big man. Hasn't been his week. A couple of birdies there recently, but too many squares on the card. The 14. Morikawa eyeing this putt for an eagle three. It's been one made here so far today. And eight for the week. And this should it go down. The outright lead. See it motioning there, Paul. It's a little bit up the hill. This is one that uh, I think he has to be conscious of the speed, he has to make sure that he hits it firmly enough, be easy to come up just slightly short. He was as many as four shots back on that front nine. What a rally. With the regular grip here, so knows he needs to strike it firmly. That's the grip he uses when he wants to hit it hard enough. Oh, he a good putt. Going to be an easy birdie, though, and a nice comeback. Two over par after his first five holes and four birdies since. And no drop shots. And we've got three major champions tied for the lead mm -hmm. here. Mm-hmm. Morikawa, Oosthuizen, and Spieth all tied at the top. As the third round of the 149th Open continues after. Attempt on the way at 15, so he's going to drop another shot back to seven under. Spieth with a par there at the 15th. 
A nice two putt on the most difficult hole. And then Morikawa back on the tee, coming off his birdie. Not hitting driver here. Going to try to squeeze it between the bunkers. Take that right bunker out of play with this club, I think. Find out as it's heading over there. He trailed by four, as you said, Zing, just four holes ago. Now, tied for the lead to 16. Now look from behind the green. Uh, the short par three, just 165 yards. Jordan back on the tee. Yeah, do you have it off the left at all? Yeah, it's a smidge off the right. Yeah, this flag is showing. Yeah. Okay. Coming down. It still is. Yep. Which card strikes? Well, and enough club to get to the flag yeah. stick here will likely be enough club to reach the back bunker. And not much wind at all. Just six miles an hour. Our wind gauge presented by Verizon indicating. This hole is playing under par this week, guys. Euro! Oh, that's a bad swing. Go hard. Get back there. Well, there's that bunker uh, that is death on the left. He avoids that bit of trouble now to 16 uh, where Jordan Spieth has this chance to grab the lead by himself oh. looked like it had a chance <laughs> it looked like it could be another Spieth open moment with a crowd poised to jump up so he stays in the tie a good score back at 17 speed with driver this is an aggressive play oh yeah pick the tee up quickly and for good reason almost wonder paul with that hole cut just over that false front is he down there too far well he might have to I think he can but i think he's going to try and drive something into this slope Get it to skip up on top. That's gotta go. Case there, Paul, to me, of driving the ball too far off the tee. You kind of put yourself in a handcuff yardage. All right, space but for par here at 17. Wow, what a bad bogey. Mm. So twice he putted from well short himself after the bogey at 17 to drop two back. Setting up for a cut here. Yeah, certainly if he's not careful. This is a tough hole to finish on, can cause a lot of problems. Tee shot critical here. This cutting back toward those bunkers down the right. Should be short. Yep, he's fine. It's been the third toughest hole in the last two opens here, but this one. Visual. Four birdie. Oh, what a good effort. Oh, oh my goodness. I almost said it. He almost mind. What a shame. Oh, it just takes all the wind out of your sails. Totally deflated Jordan Spieth after that finish. Played a terrific round. You have a chance to 